How do the ways in which I view myself and my life circumstances shape the way that I experience the world? For the past three years, I have been writing and illustrating a book about myself, and perhaps about everyone. It's about how the stories I carry about myself are connected to the way I experience my life and to my ability to live in well-being. One experience which we all seem to share is that it can sometimes feel as if circumstances are dictating our lives. They seem to determine when I feel happy or when I feel fear or sadness or anger. How often do I find myself waiting, waiting for something to happen, waiting for my career to improve, waiting for more respect, waiting for love, or for my own improvement before I can fully live my life? There are prolonged periods when I think I need to be someone different than I am, and there are periods when I look at myself and I don't like what I see. What is it that needs to happen so that I can fully step into my life just as things are? What is it that I really desire? There was a time that I had it, that I lived spontaneously and fully, whether I loved or hated or feared, I lived in the now. Where did that go? And how do I reclaim it? This isn't a book of answers, and this isn't a book of mind over circumstances. For there is real pain in the world, and there is real loss, and they are there to be felt. And there is also beauty, and there is also purpose, and they are also to be felt. This book is an exploration, an examination about where we come from, and where we're going, and who we want to be in that process.